This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hey guys, Ace of Twelve here, <coughs> and excuse me, and welcome to the second JavaScript tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial, we're just going to be going over variables in JavaScript. Uh, before we go on to variables, I just want to mention something quickly. Uh, I forgot to go over this this tag here, and all this does basically is it allows us to uh, use an external file. So the .js extension is the extension for a JavaScript file. And if I just right click here quickly, click New, and wait for the menu to load. It's just taking a bit of time. Okay, and then I'll click text document. It's not actually going to be a text document. I'll make I'll make it JavaScript.js, and yes, I want to change the uh, the file type. Okay, and if I wait for that to change properly, as you can see here, the icons change. This is just the icon for a Dreamweaver because Dreamweaver is my default JavaScript text editor. But um, basically, if we if we open this, let's open it in Notepad plus plus as well. Now all all the JavaScript code. Um, inside here, it doesn't it? It must not be between script tags. You just put the JavaScript code uh, by itself uh, inside here, and then what you can do here is you can like import it using the script tag with an attribute of type text slash JavaScript as usual as we have here, and then you just add the uh, src attribute for the source. And if I change this to uh, JavaScript. JS. This will now uh, include our um, this file here that we have. And if I just, for instance, let's alert hello world. And if I save that, and if I run this, uh, oops, wrong one. Okay, here you can see it's alerted hello world. And just to show you, this isn't anywhere. I've only got one alert statement in this entire. Uh, bit I have inside the HTML file and it's it's got an alert alerting some variables and stuff. It's nothing to do with Hello World. So this Hello World has actually been alerted from uh, this external JavaScript.js file. So that's just something I wanted to quickly cover. I forgot to cover in the previous tutorial. Um, another thing uh, is you can in fact enter JavaScript into the URL bar. All you've got to do is excuse me again type javascript and then colon and then a space well a space is optional but anyway a space and then let's try alerting something like hello world again okay and if i now press enter you can see this uh, it's alerted hello world and just to demonstrate i'll just copy and paste this this, this works anywhere so i'll just go to google quickly Okay, so here you can see I'm at Google, and if I just get rid of this stuff inside, and in uh, paste this stuff in, okay, here you can see it's t it works on Google as well, so you can, uh, JavaScript is uh, really cool when you use it in the URL bar. Um, so yeah, anyway, I also wanted to cover that. And finally, I just want to cover one last thing, I don't think I covered it before, but um, in document or write statements and alert statements and everything actually I'll just use document dot write as an example I'll have hello world okay all this white space here this space here the space between the opening quote and the space after the closing quote it's entirely optional this could be written like that like close quarters uh, one space way whoops uh, it could be right next to it, but then you could have a space like that and no space here, or you could have a space there, no space there, or you could have spaces on both sides. This way is entirely my preference, so I just wanted to clear that up as well, in case anyone was wondering. I'm just going to get rid of this statement as well, because there is in fact no file called JavaScript.js anymore in the same location. Um, and now we're going to get on to the tutorial, so I'll just refresh this. Okay, everything is working. So, um... Okay, variables. Basically, to create a variable, well, actually, first, before I go into that, I'm going to cover what are variables. So, a variable is basically um, a way of storing data. 
under a specific name, and that name is called the identifier. Uh, so here you can see to make variables you first use the variable the keyword var and you can see that's uh, like it's dark blue and it's slightly italicized as well so you say var and then you put a space and then you put the variable name okay so here what I'm doing is I'm uh, creating a variable called my name and uh, now we can do we can do several that's creating a variable, but to assign a value, we can do that in two ways. The first way I've demonstrated here, but the first way I've demonstrated incorrectly. Here, I'm assigning ASIB to a variable called my name. Okay, well, that sounds pretty similar here. But the one thing about JavaScript is it's case sensitive. So my name here is not the same as my name here, because this has a capital N and this doesn't. So then I correctly assign my, uh, my name the value of ASIB. And this will correctly assign it, as I said, whereas this won't. So I'm just going to delete this, or I'll comment it out. Okay. So now, here, we've defined the variable my name, and then we've, uh, sorry, we've declared the variable my name, that's declaring, and then defining it is giving it a value, and here we define it. And now, remember I said there were two ways to 